You don't need me to tell you it's been dry throughout most of Florida, but that's what we are going to talk about coming up in this video. I'm Jonathan, your certified meteorologist, and we're talking about the expanding drought through a lot of the Florida Peninsula. Some of us did get some really good rain, and we'll talk about where in just one second. We're also going to break down more heat. I know it's Florida. It's April. It's going to be hot, but potential for records and even low to mid 90s in April. It's still a little early for that stuff. We're going to break that down. And then we're going to look a little long range, at least over the next week to two weeks to see if there is any good rain. Again, wildfire season in Florida starting to ramp up. We have increasing burn bans throughout the state. But the deal with this is that we're going to start to lose cold fronts pretty soon. Once we get into the middle of April, we really start to lose cold fronts. We're going to lose that widespread rain chance until the wet season begins, typically later in May. And then really in June, we fire up those afternoon storms along the sea breeze. So again, we're going to get ourselves into some big trouble here, potentially, in terms of the wildfire season, if we don't get some good rain fast. All right, we talked about this, if you've been with us. And again, before we get into this, of course, hurricane season right around the corner, June 1st. If you want to stay up to date, especially in Florida, about any kind of tropical meteorology, click that subscribe button. We'd love to have you here again. Uh, as we look ahead, unfortunately look ahead to hurricane season. Although we could use the moisture from a tropical system, we like to keep it on the weak side. Of course, if you live in Florida, we were we don't want to deal with any kind of hurricanes or tropical storms this year. Here's the drought monitor. This is released every Thursday from the United States Department of Agriculture. Okay, If you recall last week, we had a little itty-bitty circle north of Orlando for a severe drought. That kind of darker orange color right there. Now that is expanded into Tampa, into Orlando, Fort Pierce. You're also going to notice this, this big area of red in and around Fort Myers, Fort Myers, Naples. I just combined Fort Myers and Naples. It's Fort Miles, okay? Fort Myers and Naples are now in an extreme drought. We just haven't had rain. I mean, of course, we got decimated tons of rain from Hurricane Ian, but then post Ian, the rain has really shut off. Now Miami, we got a lot of rain this week. I'm going to show you the numbers from around the state in a little bit. So we have eaten away at drought status in Miami and then also around Tallahassee. Now we're back in the abnormally dry category and drought status through the Big Bend area towards Jacksonville where we were able to get out of that a little bit. I want to show you this and really the only spot in the green from the select cities across the Florida Peninsula, across the Sunshine State in general, is Miami. We've picked up 10 inches of rain on the year, a lot of rain over the last week. That puts us almost four inches above normal. We're in the green. Everywhere else, though, look at this. More than five and a half inches below normal in Orlando. About five and a half inches below in Tampa. Fort Myers, again, we are pushing five inches below normal. And then Jacksonville, about two and a half inches below normal. Leesburg, Florida, we've now gone on the other side of six inches below normal. So it's getting rough out there. Of course, you don't need me to tell you that. If you haven't watered your lawn, it's probably fried by now. If you have watered the lawn, the water bill is likely through the roof, and the electric bill is through the roof because it's been so hot so early. So do we have relief? The answer is maybe just a little bit. We're not getting out of drought status, though, anytime soon. The Climate Prediction Center over the next 14 days puts us in this light category, really up and down the mid-Atlantic and into Florida. That's that slightly above opportunity for rain over the next 8 to 14 days. I'm going to show you the model forecast, though, out about a week for the entire state of Florida. And you clearly see, though, where it's going to be active. Panhandle and points north into the deep south. Most of the Florida Peninsula, including the Big Bend and the eastern side of the Panhandle, we're out of luck. There's going to be a little bit of rain over the next seven days. It's not going to be a ton. I mean, we'll take what we can get. Don't get me wrong. But it's rough out there. Again, 300s, 500s of an inch in and around extreme central Florida through the I-4 corridor. Closer to Miami, I think we'll have a little bit more, maybe up to a quarter of an inch to a half inch. It's really the big winners in terms of rain are going to be in the panhandle. Pensacola, maybe towards Tallahassee, Port St. Joe. And this is going to be with more active weather really rolling through the deep south. But most of that stuff fizzling out as those fronts roll down the peninsula. So that is something that we are going to keep a close eye on 
the lack of rain, that wildfire threat as we really work into the heart of the Florida wildfire season, we're not getting any help from that. What is going to make matters worse for the drought status this upcoming week is going to be the heat that really is going to expand. Look at this, 4, 5 o'clock on Tuesday, our high temperatures Tuesday afternoon into Orlando. We're in the low to mid-90s. We're pushing 90 in Tampa, lower 80s in Miami. We're doing okay in Pensacola, nice and comfortable back to the mid-70s. The heat going to expand as we move into Wednesday. Look at this, low to mid-90s in Fort Myers, Tampa, Orlando. Pushing 90 in Jacksonville, mid-80s in Miami and Port St. Lucie. So the heat, dry weather are going to continue to fuel drought conditions at least over the next week. And again, we may have a little more rain for that second week, as you saw there from the Climate Prediction Center outlook. But it's not looking the greatest. So my, I guess, advice is to keep the lawn watered if you don't want it to get fried because we just don't have any widespread rain outside of the panhandle of Florida coming down the pipeline at least over the next week it's just going to be little bits and pieces here and there for most of the florida florida peninsula at least over the next week thank you guys a ton for tuning in again if you like to stay up to date with the weather especially in florida hit that subscribe button we would love to have you on board if you found the information informative give it a like and that really does help us out a lot stick around for the ride we'll catch you next time